The time for 800 gig optics is right now. The economics make sense around 800 gig optics today and the power consumption around 800 gig optics is equally compelling. If you look at what you'll pay this year for 800 gig optics that are commercially available from Nokia this year, what you'll pay for that optic is roughly the same as what you'll pay for the equivalent to 400 gig optics. When you look at the power consumption for a single 800 gig optic, it will be on the order of between 25 to 43 percent less than what it would be for the same two 400 gig optics. As routers become more and more dense, the amount of power that's dedicated to those systems towards pluggable optics increases. Anything that you can do to go and use a step-down function to reduce the amount of power associated with pluggable optics is going to be game-changing. And this is an additional reason why 800 gig optics make sense right now. In the demo behind me, I've got a 7750SR1SE, which is 36 ports of 800 gig, connected to a 7750SR1X, which is 48 ports of 800 gig, and we've got clear channel 800 gig traffic passing at line rate in between each of them. With FP5 Silicon, we support 800 gig clear channel today, and we actually support 1.6 tera clear channel in silicon as well, well in advance of a standard MSA around 1.6 tera optics. We have 800 gig optics available across the entire product portfolio of the 7750 available this year. Now those 800 gig optics, we know that not every customer will go and move to them right away. A lot will go and evaluate 800 gig and they'll make a move to them when the economics make sense for them, when they have a customer driver to go and adopt them, or when they have a driver to go and optimize core facing links to better utilize bandwidth. Now whatever that driver may be, we've got options in the product portfolio to go and start customers today on 100 gig, on 400 gig, and then move gracefully to 800 gig without subsequent hardware upgrades. It's very easy to start with some of those lower speed optics and make that change because 800 gig is built into hardware on day one. To move to 800, it does not require any additional line card upgrades. It does not require any additional fabric upgrades. It does not require any additional power upgrades. It does not require any additional fan upgrades. Everything that we have in the product portfolio to move to 800 gig is set already, day one. So this, in along with many other compelling capabilities that we've got built into FP5, are all clear drivers around why there's a lot of noise in the industry right now about FP5 and the 7750 product portfolio. So if you'd like to find out more about any of the platforms behind me or what it is that we can offer with the 7750 or FP5 silicon, please reach out to Nokia. We're happy to hear more from you and talk in more detail about how we can help you simplify and improve your networks. Thank you for your time.